Hello, Brimfield. I want to give you a quick update on our meeting of January 17th. Uh, as you might have seen, uh, we had awards for Officer Robert Putnam, who was the Officer of the Year. Great job, Rob. We had the OVI Officer of the Year, which was Matt Kennedy. Um, we did that at the first thing in the meeting. Uh, and then, let's see, I guess, I guess I gotta get order. First of all, I'm gonna show you this. This is the design we decided for branding the township. We need a new uh, logo and and that is one that we've developed and that's the one we like and we're gonna get some color pull it, put to it and we're gonna use it. Uh, administration. The big thing to report in administration was I want a big thank you to Nick Coya, to uh, Chief Malali, to Wendy and Jendi up at the town hall for finally getting our website put together. You should be seeing a new interactive website coming up next week. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Everything you want to know will be on that website. Um, the police department, it's, it's new into the year, so they have a lot of activity. They have already processed 582 calls, made 11 arrests uh, just in January. There's been 40 traffic crash investigations, 31 alarm drops, two uh, telephone harassment reports, three fraud reports, three disorderly conduct, 275 premise checks, eight theft reports, four arrest warrant services, 21 suspicious persons, one breaking and entering burglary, five animal related complaints, 19 traffic contacts, and 11 welfare checks. Uh, they are, I just want everybody to know if you do leave uh, town and you need someone to check on your house, make sure you call the police department and they'll put it on their list so they'll go by and check it out for you. Uh, right now we are currently reviewing applications for another full-time police officer. We have a vacancy. Uh, okay, nothing there. Uh, the road department. All I can say is they have been snow plowing and salting. We have gone through a ton of salt. We have another 150 tons ordered. Uh, you know, we've had some complaints on the way they're plowing, but these guys are doing a great job. It's uh, 45 miles of road. We're down a man, uh, so the four guys are, are working diligently to get stuff done. Uh, I know our roads looked great. The counties weren't done as good as ours, so some people get upset and think uh, it's us, but some of those are county roads, so be careful You know what you say. Some of them are county roads. Uh, Maplecrest, uh, not a lot going on. I mean, we are trying to do some cracking down on some different areas that need some cracking down. We are planning a work session to finish, to retweak the book. Um, it, it, it's, it was good when we did it. Now is the time we need to change it. Uh, we have just uh, entered into a contract uh, to replace the HVAC unit in the basement of the fire department. We've had a issues down there where sometimes it's our officers feel like they're sleeping in a meat closet so we we just we can't let our officers have th these kind of environments so we are going to put in a new modern efficient heating system for them and this will be paid for through a grant from NOPEC so uh, I look forward to getting this done very soon Part of that grant we're also going to use for putting in a new heater and air conditioning for the community center, which will be gas or propane until the gas line is run. But this will definitely save us some money with an antiquated system. But, you know, we have other things to do, and we're, we're getting there. Uh, Brimfield Fire Department, big news. Uh, I think... Uh, the ambulance, our new brand new ambulance, will be delivered Monday at 10.30 a.m. Um, remember, this was paid for through a grant that 
Craig received, Chief Mullally. And uh, this is at no cost to the taxpayers. And we will be retiring one. Um, so great job, Craig. Um, I have had a lot of calls. Uh, calls uh, are in Facebook posts about where is our sled riding hill. Well, folks, our sled riding hill is right by the dog park. It's on Lynn Road between Sherman and Sandy Lake Road. It's called Cranberry Creek. It's a beautiful park. Uh, Dave actually cut a trail through it so you can use it for birding and just walking in nature. Uh, we will put the next half in next year, um, but it does look pretty good. So that's going to be a great park. Uh, boy, there's not really much more going on. It's early in the year. Uh, I was just out walking around the pond. I think I smell spring. I hope I do. <laughs> Uh, everyone, there's going to be a, there's going to be a grand opening, well, third year grand opening at the Brimfield Steakhouse this week. Uh, we have a new restaurant in the Brimfield Plaza. I ate there, and the food was very good. It's where Otto's used to be. Uh, it's a uh, Thai, Thai and and related flavors, but very good food. Uh, if you're looking for something close and something new, I would recommend checking it out. Other than that, uh, the word is that uh, the uh, design has been made now for the new intersection over there by uh, uh, 18 and 76. So I think Nick Koya is going to do a little video on that possibly. Uh, Nick is going to do a video soon explaining our new website to you so you won't have to look at my bald head all the time uh, any questions or any suggestions you know i'm always accessible uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend and i'm really getting excited about what's coming up in our township everybody be safe out there